Hello, welcome to Tim's Tiny Arcade, and today we are looking at Aka R. Now, I did a video a while back on the Atari 50th of the unreleased prototype arcade game, but this is a brand new release. I'm going to go ahead and hit the A button. I love that art. Man, that pops. Um, I played a little bit of that uh, this earlier. Um, I'll just let you know th there is a warning for this game. Epilepsy, there's a lot of flashing lights in this game. So just so you know. Um, and this game's got a lot going on. Um, so we'll kind of talk about it as we go. And uh, I did change a setting in the... Uh, from the right from the get-go um, so I hit my button here and I changed my controls you can do uh, a single button and I did not like that and uh, you can change it to two buttons so you can do bombs or bullets with uh, A and B that way or or this way and I've got it set for uh, my bullets at A and B is my bombs so you may want to change that or look into that if you do get this game because it makes it a lot more enjoyable, I think. Alright, so um, I made it earlier to about level 6 or 7. We'll start in the intro and kind of just play one game and uh, let's just go ahead and jump into it. It kind of has a lot going on on the screen kind of telling you what to do. So you can drop these bombs by hitting B. It kind of makes like this chain. And you got that's what you want to try to do is uh, get these chains going. You can see it, it if it blows up another one, yeah, that one did. And every time I hit B, it resets the chain. So I did a terrible job there. And that one's gonna land in it and then it explodes. So it's pretty interesting gameplay. I'm not even firing there. You kind of got to know how long that that it will last. That that um, that bomb. So he's kind of making a chain reaction of bombs now. I'm getting more points. I'm not even firing. I'm gonna have to fire here. So it plays a little bit different than the uh, the unreleased prototype, but it still has some of those mechanics. Okay, so what that say? Call sequence of enemy bombs. Here we go. I should get a lot of explosions there. See, they're, they keep exploding. You kind of, kind of keep an eye here at the beginning. Let the fire one, I think, there. And this game will ramp up, trust me. All right, so I kind of made the tutorial or whatever. Those are, I don't know what those are. Those are pods. There's a lot going on. There's gonna be a lot of words on the screen. bomb going here. See if I can get some chains going. Kind of tells you at the top. Got to get another one going here. There we go. So you want to use as few bombs as possible, it says, um, generating long chains. If they get, if they're in there, they'll explode again and keep keep going. You see, I'm getting a ton of points here. I got a good chain going. We gotta get another one going though. It's kind of got some relaxing music. Gotta get another one going here. Like I say, it kind of starts off a little slow, but it's getting, it gets going. Like it says, the, lo 
longer you can get these chains going, the more points you're going to get. Really? There we go. I got a good one going right here. Look at that. I'm getting over 2,000 points now per kill. And I'm not really doing nothing. Like, once I got it going, you just got to kind of keep an eye. They're exploding everywhere now. All right, I think we made that level, so that was a pretty good run there. These bombs are filled with love. All right. It kind of shows you how many points you got there on the left on each level. All right. So now we're on level two. But this game was pretty hard just playing with the one button, so like I said, you may want to check that out. Count a number of available alternate shots. These are called bullets. You can shoot them by... So I, I'm using my other button now. This handles pretty good too. The controls are excellent on this game. You just gotta kinda read what they're saying. I used a lot of bullets on that level. Oh wow. Ton of points there. So yeah, you hit those these things here and it kinda explodes everywhere. One more thing, dropping a bomb results a score. Resets the score. Okay. 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 Hit those and they just explode everywhere. Okay. We got two of them. So I'm kind of learning as I'm going too, guys. It's like I said, only my second time playing. I don't know what you really need to do there with the, the balls. I'm kind of trying to, I don't know. Okay, so some enemies will overrun your gun placement. Oh, so then you can hit RB and get close. So that it, that really reminds me of the arcade version there. This game has a lot going on. <laughs> power ups. Okay. Also, you get power ups here. Shoot those power ups. And you look at that. All these enemies out here. There we go. This game kind of reminds me of. Uh, I don't know if I can use a bomb here or not. There we go. Put your bomb on the screen. Um. Kind of reminds me of Missile Command, maybe a little bit of Tempest. There we go. Alright. 
still don't know what I need to do with these. You know, it's got an achievement for something. Ultra Golfer. Alright, what level are we on here? Got some bombs going. Those bombs, really? bombs can get you a ton of points. Those words coming across the screen, that last one just said, look at the exclamation mark, exclamation points. So those words can be kind of distracting. Really. Got it. There we go, we got some big explosions going. Do you want to kind of hit those bombs on this level? It's definitely a different shooter than I played, any kind of shooter. There'll be a little bit of a learning curve, I think, with this game. The more I play, the more I'll learn. Alright, I think I might have made that level. I'm not sure. Okay. So it keeps your score there on the left. On level 3, I had like minus 53,000. Alright. Let's try the next level. Use bombs there. Getting a good chain going here. Enemies are running into them and then re exploding. Pretty good chain going here. It says super chain, sick. Really shooting that score up. Kind of keeping an eye and see if anything's going to try to slip by. Nice. Now I did get minus 31,000. I don't know what I did wrong there. I did get an achievement. All right. Like I say, it's going to take a little time to figure out exactly everything in this. Just kind of showing you guys the gameplay of this. I do like the gameplay. I like the... the I like the uh, the music in this game. But this probably has more going on it than any other shooter I think I've ever played. Take these little bombs. There we go. Got it. But I didn't make that level, shooting that score up. I'm almost at five million here. All right, so I think last time I got to this level then died. This level kind of reminds me of the original. The way it's set up. really helps. Mom. 
Sorry I'm so quiet sometimes. I'm just concentrating trying to see what's going on. Like I said, there's a lot going on. Alright, well I think I made that level. So I've gotten a little bit farther. I've got another achievement here. I love that music. That sounds like the old Atari 2600. Alright, so we're on level 8. See if I can get like a good chain going here. Don't know what that is. Must be another bomb. Keep letting those hit me. I need to... I don't know if those are hurting me or not. I think they are. I'm trying to shoot a little. There's just so many of them right here. Yep, I'm down, I think. There were so many of them coming at me there at the end, I didn't know exactly what to do. But pretty good score for only my second time of 5,400-some thousand, so... Anyway, guys, that's a kind of quick look at this game. Um, I'm going to have to play it a lot more, but that's just like my first uh, impressions of kind of playing there. There's so much going on and so much to dig into, but uh, I enjoy playing it a lot better when I switch it to two, con you know, the two buttons. Um, and you have to change that in the settings. Other, it could just set up for one button when you start. But uh, anyway, guys, what do you guys think of this game? Um, are you going to plan on purchasing it? I've been buying all the Atari games that have been coming out, the Recharge series. This one was a little bit more. This was uh, 1999. Um, a lot of the Recharge games, I think I got another one coming out next month, uh, the Caverns of Mars, um, are 999. So this one was a little more expensive, but uh, I still enjoyed this game. And uh, I'm glad Atari is uh, coming out with a lot of content. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this. Uh, please like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, keep on gaming.